Hello, and welcome to this episode of Ham Radios for non-ham radio people. I am your host, world-renowned YouTube superstar and unlicensed ham radio operator for over 40 years, Randolfo Cafe. And in this video, I will share with you the Wuxin Ocean KG UV9PX ham radio from the perspective of someone that does not have a ham radio operator license, such as, for example, someone that might want to keep a radio like this on hand for a grid down or shit hit the fan type situation. And just to be clear and to avoid any potential confuculation, you do not need a license or any type of permission slip to own a ham radio such as this, nor do you need to pay any three-letter government agencies to possess a radio such as this. According to our overlords at the FCCs, you only need a permission slip if you plan on pressing the push to talk trigger like this. So because I will be talking about this radio from a non-ham radio operator perspective, I will not be talking about QSOs or bouncing signals off of the moon or making contacts with anonymous men. Instead, I will be talking about the features of this radio that real men might be interested in. So if you came here to complain about spurious RF emissions about this radio, or to talk about QSTs or 73s or whatever other stupid words you guys use, then please save us the time of all of us having to laugh at your stupid comments and go away now and do something that you're better suited for, like policing those directional arrows that are painted on the floor at the grocery store for our protection. Because as I just mentioned only a moment ago, this video is for people that might want to use a radio like this or have it on hand or shit hit the fan or emergency type situations. And most of those people have zero zero intentions of ever paying for a permission slip from some three letter government agency just so that they can use our free airwaves. I am going to try to keep this video as short and to the point as possible, so I apologize in advance if I speak too quickly. Oh, shit. God damn it. Fuck. I'm sorry. I blinked. Anyway, in an effort to save even more time, I will not be begging you to subscribe, and I will not be begging you to mash the like button, and I will not be begging you to do any other tricks for me, like all of those other, more desperate YouTubers do. The price for the Wuxin Ocean KG UV9PX ham radio is, as of today, and I say as of today because in this world, prices change. And every time the price changes on something I have made a video about, there is always some idiot that two years after I upload a video about something, leaves a stupid comment letting everyone know that the price has changed as if this is the first time he has ever encountered such a phenomenon. The price for this radio is, as of today, $187. Affiliate link below. And Better Safe Radio did send me this radio at no cost so that I could share it with you my favorite viewer. So when you purchase the Wuxin Ocean KG UV9PX ham radio in the box, you will receive a user manual. Actually, it is more like a quick start guide written in perfect English. And it is written in perfect English because it was written by Better Safe Radio, who is the only authorized reseller for this radio. And just for deconfoculation's sake, not only is Better Safe Radio located right here in the communist country of California, 
But Better Safe Radio is also an independently owned small business. In other words, when you purchase one of these radios, whatever monies is left over after the government of California steals its take, the rest mostly stays right here in these United States of America. And yes, you can also download the full user manual at the Better Safe Radio website. You will receive a very handsome belt clip. For affixing your radio to your belt, thereby impressing the chicks, you will receive this very stylish and luxurious wrist strap. For affixing the radio to any appendage of your body of your choosing, you will receive a charging cradle and associated electricity's wires. You will receive a battery, a 3200 milliamp hour battery. The battery that comes with this radio does require the use of the battery charging cradle for charging. However, you can also purchase a USB-C's chargeable battery as a spare, which has a USB-C's hole and does not need the use of the charging cradle. The USB-C's version of this battery is less than $30 as of today, and I will include an affiliate link below. You will receive an antenna. I will speak more of this antenna momentarily. And you will receive the Wuxin Ocean KG UV9PX ham radio. On the radio, you will find a on and off and volume control, a channel control, transmit and receive LED lights, a very bright flashlight, a hole for inserting the previously mentioned antenna, three programmable function buttons, the push to talk trigger, this protective door, which covers a standard K1 Kenwood type connector for attaching accessories or for connecting the radio to your computing device. And on the front of the radio, you will find all of the buttons and controls one would expect to find on a ham radio. The radio has a flashlight that is brighter than most other radios, even though it is probably difficult to see on the YouTubes. I always make fun of flashlights on radios and I always say they are stupid until you need it. Unlike many ham and GMRS radios, the knobs on the Wuxin Ocean KG UV9PX are very tight. Unlike many of those other lesser radios with loose, more promiscuous knobs that are easy to accidentally change just by touching or rubbing against them, this radio has intentionally designed tight knobs. As you can see, this radio has a very nice color screen, which is not great in direct bright sunlight. However, there is a workaround for that. Just do this when you're in bright sunlight, and then the screen works just fine in bright light. And the colors on the screen are changeable. The radio has an IP55 rating, so it is just fine for using outdoors and in hard rain conditions or other wet places. However, you should not use it in the bathtub. This radio is able to receive multiple different radio bands. However, because this is a ham radio, it can only transmit on the 2 meter and 70 semimeter ham bands until you unlock it, which I will speak more of momentarily. Out of the box, this radio can receive both the FM RF electricities, as one would expect, and also the AM type of RF electricities. And the radio is able to receive commercial FM radio, 108 to 136 my gigahertz AM airband, which could come in very handy in a shit hit the fan type situation. It can also receive 136 to 180 my gigahertz, 219 to 250 my gigahertz, 350 to 512 
my gigahertz, and 700 to 960 my gigahertz. And just for the purposes of prophylactically preventing any confoculation, allow me to point out that this radio is only able to receive the RF electricities that are above 512 my gigahertz on the top or upper receive line. That means that you cannot enter a frequency above 512 my gigahertz while you're on the lower line. And this is because this radio is a true super heterodyne full duplex dual receiver radio. That means that there is a super heterodyne receiver inside for the upper A receiver and another separate and fully independent super heterodyne receiver for the B band or lower line receiver. And it just so happens that the A band receiver is better than the B band receiver and the A band receiver is able to receive a wider range of RF electricities. And one of the big selling points of this radio is that it comes pre-programmed with 850 common ham and shit hit the fan frequencies, ranging from commonly used ham frequencies to the common NOAA channels, weather chaser frequencies, emergency air band frequencies, maritime frequencies, CERT, REACT, NTSB, the ISS, federal law enforcement, U.S. Marshal, all kinds of government agencies, and of course, even the Guardian Angels. However, it should also be pointed out, because if I do not point it out, some moron will leave a comment complaining, that not all of these 850 channels are active or usable in every area of the country. For example, if you live in Idaho, you will probably not hear the Guardian Angels, and it is doubtful you will hear any emergency maritime chatter in Montana. So if you were about to leave a stupid comment complaining that not all 850 channels are helpful across every square inch of the country, then just sit back down and tell mom to make you another plate of meatloaf. Speaking of Chirp, this radio is Chirp compatible and you can use Chirp to program just about any function of this radio, except if you want to add a custom message at the top of the screen, such as your call sign, as you can see I have done. For that, you will need to use the Wuxin Ocean free programming software. And of course, you will also need a cable to interface your radio with your computing device, such as this one, which as of today costs about $15. And for your convenience, I will include an affiliate link to this cable in the information section of this video below. As I may have already mentioned, this is a ham radio and in order to keep our overlords at the FCC's happy, out of the box, this radio can only transmit on ham frequencies. This is referred to by us experts as being locked. That means that this radio will not transmit on GMRS frequencies or LMR frequencies or any of the other good frequencies right out of the box, but let not your heart be troubled, because verily I say unto you, as long as you have one of these cables and the free Chirp software and a computing device to run it on, you can very easily unlock this radio, thereby unleashing the raw power of the Wuxin Ocean KG UV9PX Inner Demon, providing a much more versatile variety of frequency choices. So to unlock this radio, all you have to do is, oh, oh, I almost forgot. <sighs> As I was saying before succumbing to my bodily desires, to unlock this radio, all you have to do is go into Chirp and go into the Frequency Limits tab and change the Transmit Upper and Lower Limits. However, before you get any bright ideas, you cannot just change them to anything. Because of the intricacies of how this radio is designed, you should not set the lower transmit limit to anything below 136 my gigahertz. 
and you should not set the upper transmit limit to anything higher than about 511 my gigahertz, or you will be sorry. And of course, should you choose to unlock your radio, you do so at your own risk. There will be no warranty for you if you brick your radio, and you will get no sympathy if the FCCs show up at your door to shoot your dog. This radio does have a Roger beep, and it also has a side tone, meaning that not only can everyone listening to your broadcast hear the melodic tones of your Roger beep, but because the radio also has a side tone, you will also enjoy your Roger beep every time you use it. The box says that this radio can squirt out up to 8 watts, so let's test that. And as you can see on the 2 meters, the radio is squirting out over 9 watts. And on the 70 centimeter band, just over 8 watts. And on GMRS, which is outside of the frequency range that the radio was designed to transmit on, which, according to some people, means that the radio can only possibly output 2 or 3 watts at best. As you can see, the radio just squirted out just over 6 watts on GMRS channel 16 and on GMRS repeater channel 16, which is an even higher frequency, just under 6 watts. Proving once again that you should never pay attention to some people on the interwebs. And even with all of this power, the radio has virtually the same FARs as every other handheld walkie-talkie radio that I have ever tested, meaning that if you can see it or draw a straight line to it, you can talk to it, whether it is one mile away or 15 miles away. However, that extra couple of watts will really come in helpful if you are connecting the radio to an external antenna, because those extra RF electricities will help make up for all of the RF electricities that will ooze out of the coax and fall to the ground especially if that coax is longer than 50 or 100 feet. And as long as I am on the subject of antennas, the antenna that comes with this radio is a dual band antenna, and it is best tuned for the 2 meter and 70 semimeter bands. Meaning that if you plan on unlocking this radio to use it on GMRS frequencies in a shit hit the fan type situation, then you will want to get an antenna that is mo better tuned for such nefarious activities. An antenna such as the Smiley GMRS Super Stick Telescopic Antenna, so that you can get the most possible FARs on the GMRS. For your convenience, I will place an affiliate link below. Only moments ago, I mentioned using Chirp or the Wuxin Ocean software for programming this radio. However, software is not required to use this radio. Of course, as I already mentioned, it comes pre-programmed with 850 frequencies, but you can also program almost everything like a man right on the keyboard, except for changing those transmit ranges to unlock it. For that, you will need Chirp or if you wish to add a custom message on the screen, such as my call sign, for that you will need the Wuxin Ocean software. There may also be some other things that you cannot do directly on the keypad, like a man, but I do not know what those other things might be because I don't care. Because of the versatility of this radio, it is a great choice to have if you are planning for the impending collapse of our society. However, this is not a tech to cool radio. This radio is better suited for more general emergency communications. And by that I mean that this is not a great choice for the guys that will be running around in the field and defending your toilet paper stash. This radio would be a better choice for the commander giving instructions from the command post or for the comms guy listening for people trying to steal your toilet paper stash. And most important, this is not a cheap Chinese radio. This is in fact a good quality, super heterodyne, expensive Chinese radio.